welcome to day in the life. So maybe you had some idea that uh, I only teach for about five hours a day most days. So if you're wondering what fills the rest of that time, take a look. This is the stack of stuff that I really should grade today. This is the electronics hospital. These have burnt fuses because students use them incorrectly. Have to replace all those. These little guys need new batteries. Maybe I can uh, do something about the state of this desk today? Oh, and also I may or may not have assigned a project and then never given the kids a handout explaining how to do the project, so I need to write that today. This is gonna be interesting. It's 10.23, it's break on a test day. Everybody's panicking. It's lunch now. People really cram in here during lunch, uh, especially because the test is going on today. So let me just let you know what's been happening. Um, I had two class periods of regular physics. They were just learning stuff about uh, circuits and stuff like that. And then I had one of honors physics. I did fix the multimeters. This is amazing, but um, it took me the whole class period. So I'm behind in things. That's okay, we'll catch up. Um, so there's a lot of kids in here studying. It is always packed out in here. This is our science office. Well, I spend my preps in here because I share a classroom. Ah, here's what I came for. Here's our supply cabinet. And, oh my goodness, they actually have paper clips in here. That's what I need. I need scantrons. This is my prep, and um, there's a lot of work to get done, but I have to eat first because during my lunch, I don't really get to eat. Do some stuff with building things because I told them there would be hands-on stuff, and that's that's mm -hmm. useful. Um, and then when we come back, I'll do a week of like just the sort of the, special topics, the fun stuff. And then magnetism after that. Yep. Yay, yep. magnetism. Yay. <laughs> this is the other physics classroom. And instead of four, like eight normal size lab tables, there's these four like enormous lab tables. And there's like this upstairs area that I think we can't even get to anymore and all these little storage areas. Well, it's a quirky space. That's where I keep the dead bodies. <laughs> I don't know if I should put that online. <laughs> um, uh, I keep very less uh, alive bodies up there. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if that's better. <laughs> That was uh, Nick Tapia, he is one of my coworkers. He teaches uh, regular physics and physics and robotics and he's hilarious. Uh, we have a lot of fun. I love my job. It's kind of crazy because it's a stupid amount of work, but... One person I do know who likes his job better than I like my job is this coworker, Sean Fottrell. Some of you know him as Mr. Fottrell. He was actually my teacher in high school. All right. Classes are done, tests are done. I'm starting to get to the point of extreme exhaustion here, but uh, I'm going to run Scantrons so that they're ready for tomorrow. Have you ever seen a Scantron machine run? Cool. Stuff that got graded, and this is the stuff that didn't get graded, so. And tonight I have Kids Choir, so that's happening, and I'm also incredibly behind in my writing. If you want to see the extended edition of this, leave me a comment. I might post it. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to hear more. Caleb! Yo! Yo! This is the best part of my day.